or at least basic programming is going to be as important of a skill as um, being able to do basic reading and writing. Um, and I think we're going to look back and, and wonder why it took us so long to get to that point. Uh, one of the first things I learned was uh, uh, how to write a program to play tic-tac-toe. And you know, so I had if statements to say, okay, if the other person is about to win, go ahead and, and block that uh, spot. I always felt like if I didn't learn how to program, it, it, it would be like not learning how to read. You know, the, the, the future would just be closed to me. Learning how to program will let you use your computer's full potential, and this is only going to become more true as computers get faster and cheaper. But when you're first learning how to program, it's going to seem like a complete waste of time. You're going to be learning things like how to get the computer to do math for you and how to get the computer to type out words for you, things that would be much easier if you just did them yourself. But if you stick at it, if you can program for an hour a day, after about a month, you will reach this magical point where it's actually faster for you to program the solution to a problem than it is for you to do it yourself. And all of a sudden, life will just be magical. Understanding coding is a weapon. It's like a superpower. If you can understand, much less speak code, you can build anything. I think everybody in this country should learn how to program a computer. Should learn a computer language because it teaches you how to think. And so I, I view computer science as a liberal art. It should be something that everybody learns. You know, takes a, takes a year in their life. One of the courses they take is, you know, learning how to program. Really, it's about the chance to reinvent things and then see it out there in the world and see people using it and having fun or having a better life because of something that wasn't there before that you put in the world. Don't just buy a new video game. Make one. Don't just download the latest app. Help design it. Don't just play on your phone. Program it. No one's born a computer scientist, but with a little hard work and some math and science, just about anyone can become one. And so if you want to build something cool, you need to know programming, right? And there's so many things that you can do with computer science. So if you just work backwards from the cool thing that you want to build and figure out what that is, a lot of times computer programming is part of that, right? So you should learn the skill. If you're in the coding profession, there's so many things that you can do and you can pretty much pick and choose the course you want to be in. It's going to be hard. It's going to be probably the hardest thing some of you guys have ever had to do. There's going to be sleepless nights. There's going to be times where you want to quit. People around you won't understand what you're trying to do. You're going to have to make a lot of sacrifices. I skipped out on many family trips, many camping trips. Had to tell friends no, couldn't hang out with them because this was something too big and I couldn't let it go. This dream's no walk in the park, but again, if it keeps you up at night, if it's something that you can't stop thinking about, you have to go for it because there's nothing better than looking back a few months a few years later after all that hard work, seeing all that pain that you had to go through and seeing the developer that you are.